All right, let's start with the basics. What is ABI security? Now, the simple answer is that it's about managing and applying security for your APIs. But we all know there's nothing simple about API security. My name is Brenton House. I'm an ex-hacker, developer, architect, consultant, strategist, and now digital evangelist for Software AG, one of the leading providers of API management and integration solutions in the world. Now, I started hacking when I was about 13 and I learned two important things. One, I'm really good at finding vulnerabilities and two, your systems and APIs are not as secure as you'd like to think they are. Trust me on this one. So when I mention the term API hacker, what do you picture? Is it this? Hackers have been around a long time and Hollywood has done an excellent job of creating their own image of them. This has definitely increased awareness and has also romanticized the idea of being a hacker. In 1983, there was a movie called War Games that was released to theaters. Now, you may have never heard of the movie, but it was about a boy, David, played by Matthew Broderick, who hacked into Nord's military computer system and accidentally almost starts World War III. The movie got the attention of the most powerful man in the world at that time. According to journalist Fred Kaplan, after seeing a special screening of the movie War Games, then President Ronald Reagan asked the US Military Joint Chief of Staff if something like this could really happen. He asked, could someone just break into our most sensitive computers? A week later, the general's response was, the problem is much worse than you think. From that moment on, US cybersecurity and defense policy would never be the same. Attacks on your system and APIs might not be coming from this guy trying to destroy your system and sell your data, but very well could be coming from some, say, 13-year-old kid like I was. Now, Ronald Reagan wasn't the only one that was influenced by war games. I also got into the game after watching the movie War Games back in the early 80s. Now, the 1980s were a different time, and it was a lot rarer to have someone with technical skills and equipment to be able to hack into your system. However, as the years went by, more and more resources became available and skills increased. And yes, I did rock the tie a lot as a kid. Fast forward 40 years, and everyone with a smartphone has a computer more powerful than any supercomputer that existed at that time. YouTube is now full of free videos and training on how to code and become a serious developer or hacker. What this means is that almost anyone from anywhere in any country could be trying to get into your APIs and systems today. My goal is simply to educate and prepare you to defend against attacks, malicious or not. What I'm going to do in this API Cybersecurity 101 series is provide you with the basics of what API security is, how API security works, and equip you with the necessary resources and tools to defend and protect your API systems against attacks. Now, I will also point out where you could be vulnerable and what you could do to harden or enhance the security that you might already have in place to protect your APIs. What most don't understand is that API security starts with humans, not computers. If someone puts their password on a sticky note attached to their monitor, it doesn't matter how many security checks you do, how much security code you have in place, or what different security products you have installed. There are, however, a lot of things that you can do to protect yourself and minimize the damage from this and other forms of social hacking, and I will go into this in a lot more detail in some of the following episodes. There are a few key weapons that you can use to arm yourself to protect your systems from attacks by API hackers and intruders. The core to your API security is going to be an API gateway. An API gateway can provide protection against a lot of things, including a denial of service attack. Now, they can also provide API monitoring, logging, and API rate limiting. They can restrict traffic based on IP address and other metadata, handle security token validation, and much more. The API gateway makes it easy to create, maintain, monitor, and secure your APIs.
Next, we have WAFs, or Web Application Firewalls. The WAF stands between the public traffic and your API gateway or application. WAF can give you some additional protection against things like bots using things like security rules, machine learning, and sometimes artificial intelligence. They can provide malicious bot detection, identify attack signatures, and provide additional IP intelligence. A WAF can block bad traffic before it reaches your gateway. Then there are standalone security products. These products support features that can be broken down into categories such as real-time protection, static code and vulnerability scanning, build time checking, and security fuzzing. Many of these will support some or all of these features. Last of all, we have security that is implemented internal to the API or applications themselves. I'm not gonna go into very much detail in this episode, but simply point out that the resources required to ensure that all the security is properly implemented in your API code can be difficult to apply consistently across all of your API portfolio. With any security feature or product, it is important to remember that security is a moving target. You want to know that the product or products that you will use stay up to date and protecting you against the latest vulnerabilities. Now recently there have been a few in the community that have expressed criticism of using API gateways and WAFs for security because they implement security as a feature. I will try to put this as politely as possible, don't be fooled. Leaving out a core part of your API management system a component that probably knows more about your APIs and the context of your traffic than any other system is a really bad idea. If you only focus on using external security products and you ignore or misconfigure the protection provided by your API gateway security, you could be leaving yourself wide open for an attack. API gateways integrate and work well with all the other components to API security such as WAFs and standalone API security products. Don't leave yourself vulnerable. All of this only reinforces the fact that there is not a one-size-fits-all solution for API security. You can't just buy an API security black box from Best Buy, plug it in, and suddenly everything is protected. To implement a proper API security solution, it is important to understand your APIs, the third-party APIs you use, and the functionality and value your APIs are adding to your organization. This will help you better grasp how it ties into integrations with your partners and your users. During these episodes, I can and will provide you with detailed information and best practices, but API security is still one area that will require you to spend some time and resources to ensure that it is implemented and continues to be implemented correctly. When you're looking at your API ecosystem, don't forget about API integrations and the third-party APIs that you will be integrating with. If these third-party APIs or the integrations themselves are insecure, your data, internal systems, and APIs could be compromised. The purpose of this quick episode was to assist you in learning more about what API security is and to let you know what's in store for future API Cybersecurity 101 episodes, where we will go into more details and further equip you with the tools and best practices necessary to protect your APIs. Thank you for watching API Cybersecurity 101, the show that equips technical and business users to level up their API security. Feel free to add any comments or questions that you might have about API security in the comments section below. I'm Brenton House, and again, thank you for watching. Check out the show notes below for links and bonus content. And as always, subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with the ever-changing world of APIs, security, and digital transformation.